DC here, hi guys and gals. Well yes, this time it is going to be a beer vlog. It's going to be the dog head, dogfish head, sorry. Uh, the 60, 60 minute IPA. Now, 60 minute IPA was a little bit strange for me, so I went and looked it up on, uh, on their site. And basically what they're saying is that 60, they're adding 60, hop, 60 hops addition over a 60 minute boil. So 60 minute is brewed uh, well with Northwest Hops. It's a Delaware brewery. Never seen it before so it's the first time. So they say a powerful but balanced East Coast IPA with a lot of citrusy hop character. It's the session beer for hardcore enthusiasts. So yeah, this is... Oh yeah, they've got other ones here. Of course, they've got the 90 minute and so on and so on. But I mean, that is not what we want to know really, do we? We want to know what it tastes like. So, my Boulevard bottle opener. And let's go for a try. So I'm drinking it in an unmarked, um, I was going to say Irish or English style glass. I didn't purposely, in a way, I just didn't, I just poured it. I didn't try to make any particular foam on the top I had. It's got a nice color. Here we are, very nice. Nice on the nose, the citrusy part it was talking about. Hmm, it's actually, it's good, but it's actually quite mild. I know they make what they call the 90 minute one. And even the 120 minute one, which should be stronger. So if you like stronger IPAs, probably go for the other ones. They, they, in the review, they said the 90 minute IPA was, by some critic in the States, mentioned as the best IPA, arguably, of course, uh, <coughs> in the States. Well, we'll see. This is good. It's good, but I like it a little bit more pungent, more, you know, packed to... But it's good. But I, <clears throat> if I have the choice, I'll take some other ones maybe instead because, you know, these are bought in specialty shops. So you can buy <clears throat> others, I mean, and they're at least as good, if not better. But having said that, it's an excellent IP, nevertheless. It just depends on how much of that hoppy flavor that you want. So it's really good. Yeah, there's not much that stays in the mouth at the end, but it, it's a mild one. Yeah, okay, enough said. So let's go to the vlog part. <clears throat> because some people tell me that if I do a beer vlog, all I do is talk about beer. And I, of course, defend myself and say a beer vlog is just a reason to start vlogging and have something else to talk about. Well, talking about beer... <laughs> Talking about beer, I'm going to be off to Ireland, as I have said in a few videos before, on Wednesday. It's really a business trip this time. I mean, so I'm uh, going and coming back, leaving on Wednesday. Basically, it's a day to get to Dublin. Uh, I'm going to Cork. So basically, it's a day because you fly into Dublin. You could fly into Cork, but with all the hassles of changing at the airports and everything, you don't change. You don't really save that much time. So it's actually really quite easy for me to go... I go to Zurich, then I take a plane into Dublin, and then there's a bus, or a coach as they call it over there. No, it's a bus, actually. Uh, they say a bus, though. Uh, from Dublin to Cork, that's a three, three and a half hour drive. So for Canadians, to give you an idea, that's approximately, I guess, like from Montreal to Quebec City, approximately. And it is on, it is on motorway, so on highway. And uh, it's it's a nice it's a nice coach. Um, it even has USB and wireless and toilets. Yes, some of them don't actually. So you gotta be ready when you get on that three and a half to four hour trip. But this one anyway, the one I always take. Yeah, too much information. But you know, if you're traveling, you'd like to know those things. And the hotel that I take is a hotel called the Jury's Inn, and it is a chain over in I've showed you pictures on the videos and you can see where it is if you go back to my videos from Cork <clears throat> the advantage is it's it's really like uh, 
it's less than five minutes it's like two minutes away from the uh, from the coach station from the bus station and then I can uh, just roll my things over so it's really cool and uh, the other thing is that it's right in the middle uh, it's very central to Cork so there's a uh, there's uh, pubs around there and that's the thing I've said before in Ireland every pub seems to have live music so sessions as they call it so you, you can go over and just stay for a little bit most of the time you can eat and um, you should just remember I gotta back in my my earplugs because I always put in earplugs because uh, Irene taught me that actually I always put in earplugs because the music is loud it really is and you still hear it with the earplugs you hear it good yeah, so that's coming up. So I will be getting in there Wednesday late afternoon. Probably I have time to do one or two geocaches. I'll be bringing my my stuff for the geocaching anyway. But um, how can I say it's not the uh, it's not a vacation. So it's not like if I'm going to have all that much time. Then it it is a it's a symposium slash business meeting meaning that we have evening meals and sessions with the people and uh, so it's going to be two intense business days but there's going to be government officials there because uh, the group that we work with they're launching off an institute so the business partners uh, are invited to that but like I said I'm, pick, I'm putting in a lot of business stuff in there and uh, flying back on, on Saturday morning so I have to go on Thursday, Friday up to Dublin back to the hotel in the same chain which is really in the middle of Dublin opposite Christchurch Cathedral if anyone knows Dublin so that is really in the Temple Bar district so yeah what well, can you ask for more so as I'll be getting there late but that doesn't mean that I can't go like I say to a pub and listen to some music and have a beer that's for sure so that is all coming up this week I mean there's other things but uh since I'm boring you with this, I'll just stay on the Irish thing. Uh, Melissa said something like Irish is kind of like a second home. Yeah, it is kind of is these days. Uh, I, uh, we're going back on vacation later on, and I've got another business trip coming up there, most probably by the end of the year. But uh, one day it would be nice to be able to talk about what we are doing, but it's still, for the moment, relatively secret. I can only say it has to... It has to do, you know, with uh, with obesity. That much, I guess, I can say. And uh, you know, it's different things around that, and uh, it's fascinating field, actually. Yeah. So what else? Well, Mrs. DC's off to work, and we had a great time this week because uh, we went uh, to a Celtic. Uh, we have a folklore festival those on facebook might have seen it we have a folklore festival here in town every year i think it's like i don't know how many years it probably was written on the folder but it's like 20 years at least if not more and um we went to the celtic evening so surprise surprise although having said that for some reason the organizers went and slipped in the Turks, and I mean, it's nothing against Turkish music, but it has nothing to do with Celtic music. But anyway, I guess they couldn't fit them in into somewhere else, so they slipped them in there. <coughs> so it was, but it was, it was good. It was a great evening. There was with the Irish. They had a little, a uh, little boy who was seven years old. He was dancing. He was really quite. He was cute. He was just simply cute. Yeah. So anything else? Well, no. I mean, just beer vlog and chatting. Like I said, Mrs. DC, or maybe I didn't say it, she's off at work. And so I'm alone like a big boy. And uh, the weather is kind of like, well, we're going to have rain before long, I guess. So sitting out on the deck and enjoying my dog head, dog fish head, 60 minute. IPA. Cheers, everybody. Take care.